hi guys welcome back to another video of hedgewet channel so in this video we will be dealing with a very important topic that is the odd driven and its mechanism of action we all are familiar with the nasal spray that is odd driven which gives us a fast relief from the nasal congestion so we might have been using it in the past but we should actually know about the details of the odd driven and the side effects so we are providing a good video on the odd driven side effects and all so we will move to the video so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet feel free to subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates so this is the odd driven we all are familiar with the odd driven nasal spray which is having mainly different types of contents so we all have had a series of rhinitis or the nasal colds and all so we will feel very uncomfortable during this situation and we will be using the nasal sprays so move to the cross section of the normal healthy nasal cavity this is actually the normal healthy nasal cavity see normal tissue if at all we are having any pathogen or any antigen into our nose what help happen the blood vessels will allow more histamine and more blocking of nose tissue will happen you can see this is the normal tissue and this is the swollen tissue what will happen fluid retention will be there so it apply appears swollen and inflamed the nasal mucosa becomes swollen and inflamed that is inflammation of the nose due to more basophils eosinophils and other immunogenic cells so that is what is happening in the nose so that's why it get a reddened appearance hyperemic appearance so this is the normal nose nasal cavity and this is the inflamed swollen nasal cavity so the contents is oxymetazoline and xylometazoline so oxymetazoline so both are the decongestants that is who delete congestion you can see, see that who remove congestion so oxymetazoline is a decongestant decongestant who removes congestion that shrinks the blood vessels actually to more blood to come to that area the blood vessels will be dilated right so what happen they will be compressing and compressing the blood vessels so that the excess fluid will ooze out dilated blood vessels can cause nasal congestion stuffy nose so what happen they will be constricting so oxymetazoline for the nasal spray it is temporary relief the nasal congestion what happens it removes the excess cells and excess fluid so the same is actually the xylometazoline so they are actually used in the nasal congestion allergic rhinitis and sinusitis so what is the mechanism of action so both are direct acting sympathomimetic drugs that is adrenergic alpha agonist so what happens they induce vasoconstriction so the vessels will be constricted so more amount of blood reaching the nasal cavity will be removed to the other sides so what happens normal blood flora will be maintained to the nasal cavity thereby decreasing the nasal congestion they will be oozing out the blood through the capillaries and all so they will be the blood will blood in the nasal region will be collected and taken into the general circulation so the sympathomimetic action that is sympathetic system mimicry sympathomimetic action of xylometazoline constrict the smaller arterioles so we have a decongesting effect okay so the oxymetazoline is a direct acting sympathomimetic i mean it acts on the alpha adrenergic receptors in the arterioles or conjunctiva to produce vasoconstriction and all so what is the overuse of problems that is rhinitis medicamentosa that is leads to rebound congestion nasal obstruction ischemia necrosis so what is the main fact nasal congestions should not be used for more than 7 days if at all you have got a use of more than 7 days and you have got a necrosis problem what should you use withdrawal of decongestion should be done and you should have to start the local steroid therapy so side effects are or burning sensation thinking effect then increased nasal discharge dryness inside the nose sneezing nervousness nausea dizziness and all so for babies and infants and children there is a special kind of otrivin that is otrivin baby saline for their nasal problems so then adult nasal spray should not be used in case of baby spray next is the nasal solution for the babies this only should be used in case of small infants and children Thank you guys